Very good morning, dear students. We are back with our science period, that is physics period. We have started the schedule uh, Earth and solar system, am I right? In that, we have discussed about the solar system, Milky Way, galaxy. We have discussed about universe, Milky Way, galaxy, satellites, am I right? This all things we have discussed. So, in today's video, we are going to discuss something more interesting about the solar system. In the last, in during Google Meet, you have asked me the different questions about why the stars are red, why the, how the stars get twinkles. This all things we are going to discuss in the today's video. For this, also you students, you can refer the 7th standard state board book the lesson 20 20 number lesson that is in the world of the star you can get more information so let's start how the stars are formed so if when we find the stars we find the stars during the night yes we can see the stars in the night yes so how are they yes you can see the shape of the stars is like this am i right so, is this a shape of a, sh a heart? Uh, a star is seen? Let's see. Okay, let's imagine. Now see, uh, we are here. We live on the earth. Am I right? We live on the earth. On Before the earth, there are some planets. There are the planets. And here is one of the planets. This is what? Sun. Am I right? This is the sun. Now, we see the sun is also one type of the star. Sun is one type of the star. Are you ready? Then around this uh, sun, the, uh, the planets revolve. So, this is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. All the, all the planets have their orbit. Am I right? All the planets have their own orbit to revolve around the sun. Now, so we can say the sun is also a star and we all this, we all these things are considered or all these leaves in only a one galaxy. This is a galaxy or we can say it's nothing but our universe. This is our universe. Man, this is the one of the solar system. Like this galaxy, there are the millions of galaxies in the universe. There are millions of galaxies in the universe. But we see that Earth, on the Earth, on the Earth, is that uh, there is only life. The life only exists on the Earth. Why is it so? Because on the Earth, what the human being needs, we need oxygen, we need water, we need food. This is all the things we get from the environment. Am I right? So all these things are available on the Earth. Earth. So, life exists on the earth. Because of this, all the things are available on the earth. And also, there is a gravitational force which help us to stay on the earth. The, there is a gravitational force which helps to stay on the earth. Now, beside this, now you can see that this is which planet? Mars. Am I right? This is the Mars. We can, there is a further invention is going on, further discovery is going on that after Earth, the life can exit. After Earth, the life can exit on the Mars. Because now, now you know the number of satellites, satellites are sent from the Earth to the Mars. Right? We can find a little amount of, till now there is a search that there is a little amount of water in the Mars. There is a little amount of water on the Mars. So, if if uh, after a millions or trillions of year, um, we have we are getting the information. We are getting the information. So on one day, there will be a one such day that Earth is going to get vanish. Yes or no? So after Earth, then where the human being can live? Then uh, the human being can live or survive on the Mars because there is also a gravitational force but as compared to the earth mars has very little gravitational force are you getting this so this was about the mars and the earth we live on the earth and we need this and this all 
the planets are living in one of the galaxy. The, in the last video, I have told you which galaxy do we live? Yes, we live in a Milky Way. The name of the galaxy is Milky Way. Are you getting? Now, beside this, the stars are very important. Stars are also important. We, and how the stars are made? Stars are made up of gases. Stars are made up of gases. Stars are made up of gases. And now if we will consider the stars are also having their own life. Stars are also having their own life. Am I right? So how the stars are born? Now see, every living things or every things we can give, we, we can build it. Or some non-living things we can build it, we can make them. Am I right? So similarly the living things are born is yes, there are a different process like this. The stars are also born from the nebula. The stars are born from the nebula. Stars are born from the nebula. Now what is the nebula? Nebula is nothing but a one of the, it is a cloud. It is nothing but it is a cloud. Not what you see during the rainy season, how we see the clouds like that. But it is one of the cloud. How is the cloud? Is This cloud is made up of gas. That is hydrogen gas. That is H2 gas plus dust particle. This cloud consists of H2 gas. That is hydrogen gas and dust particles. When this all the hydrogen gas and the dust particles meet each other, attract each other and with a lot of pressure, because of the lot of pressure they form a dense cloud. They form a dense cloud. They form a dense cloud because of the H2 gas and dust particles they form. They bond together, they attract each other and because of some pressure and uh, they they form a cloud, dense cloud. And along with this, as the temperature is, uh, the temperature, during this pressure, it generates, it has a very high temperature. The temperature is also increased and because of this, we can see the stars are, stars are having heat and light. The stars are having heat and light. Are you getting this? Say once again. The stars are born from nebula. The stars are born from nebula. Now what is nebula? Nebula is nothing but a dense cloud. Now cloud, cloud is made up of H2 gas. That is hydrogen gas plus dust particles. When they come together, it's get very. Uh, they get attracted to each each other, and because of the pressure, how they get attract because of some pressure exerted and due to the gravitational force and because of this because of this the uh, the temperature is the temp along with this the temperature increases and as the temperature increases here, uh, then it generates heat and light so we can see the stars are having their own heat and light are you getting now if you will see you can see the shape of the stars is like this this is not this we have given the shape of the star but if you will look the real shape of the star is spherical the real shape of the star is spherical we can see the some part of the stars like a blinking so we look the we look this shape we can see this shape but actually the shape of the star is spherical are you getting this actually the shape of the star is spherical okay now let's learn some the type let's learn about the types of the stars now because of the nebula now who is the mother of the star yes of course nebula nebula uh, ne ne nebula helps the ne nebula is the mother of the star because of that nebula we can see we can get a different types of the star now these are the types of the star ordinary star means ordinary star you can see massive means little bit big star See, sometimes on, we are sitting, we are also on the earth. Am I right? We can see the very, uh, there are some stars which, uh, which shows a very little brightness. 
as they are very far away from us as they are far away from us so we can see they are very small are you getting now you can if for the best example is when you are sitting in a plane you can see the from the upstairs when you can see the downside color downside people you can see they are like a ant am i right similarly we can see very small star massive massive means big star red giant star red giant giant itself it means a very big giant means very big star and neuron neuron these are the different types of the stars are formed due to the nebula are you getting this i hope you have understood it about the how the stars are born are you getting this sun is also the one of the star satellite in the last video we have learned about the natural satellite in today's video we are going to learn there are many two types of satellite i have told you which are that natural and artificial natural or man made we can say man made satellite means what the natural satellite is you know the moon for example the moon is a natural satellite of an earth am i right and it does not have its own light it gets a light from the sun so it is visible during night are you getting this that man made man made means artificial source of uh, source of natural satellite let's learn about the man made satellite that is artificial satellite now there are the different types of the artificial satellites for example weather weather satellite communication satellite broadcasting sort of satellites scientific satellites military satellites these are the different types of the satellites are used for example now weather weather satellite this weather satellite is used to forecast to get the weather condition to get the weather condition of the particular area then we can use the weather satellite for communication for uh, means for getting the any uh, any information from any uh, any uh, from any of us then we are using the communication satellite scientific we are using you know sign for scientific purpose for getting the information from the universe we use that type of the satellite broadcasting satellite this is also used for the tv signal to get a tv signal we are using the broadcasting satellite so this was about the satellite and the first satellite the india the first satellite in a space the first satellite in the space was this sputnik 1 are you getting what was the first name of the first satellite was sent in the space that is sputnik 1 india has launched 88 satellite till now till 2016 to till 2016 india has launched 88 such satellite total 88 satellite so now the first satellite india has sent that is aryabhatta the first satellite was aryabhatta then chandrayaan then mo that is you know very well known that is mo this was the first satellite was sent to the mars mars what is the full form of mo mars operation mission mars operation mission this is also called as a mangalyaan this is also called as a mangalyaan this was for uh, this satellite was sent by the india and the first man to step on the moon or the, the space we can say the neil armstrong was the first uh, astronaut who has uh, who has reached uh, reached to the moon he has he was the first man to set on the moon and from india the first man was a rakesh sharma the first man was a rakesh sharma and the first lady woman or the first indian woman was the kalpana chawla she was the first indian woman who was sent in the space are you getting this i hope you have understood a are you getting this then we have learned about asteroid comets meteoroids am i right uh what are the asteroids these are the rocky bodies or the heavenly bodies which are in between the mars and jupiter then we have learned about the meteoroids now in the last uh, google meet i have told you what are the meteoroids 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 are nothing but a small heavenly bodies which are uh, which have been fallen on the 
on the earth too because of the gravitational force because of the earth gravitational force the two met, uh, the meteoroids have been fallen on the earth now in maharashtra in maharashtra the uh, been formed the lunar lake is formed due to the due to the meteoroids are you getting this so and one more thing the most important i hope you have understood about the satellite how the stars are formed and the last point to be discussed is about an eclipse you might be hearing about an eclipse lunar eclipse solar eclipse am i right so let's learn them in a detail let's learn in the detail about that eclipse what is an eclipse can anyone of you tell me what is an eclipse surya grahan chandra grahan in marathi we say yes or no grahan am i right so what is actually that what are the eclipse what is actually the eclipse in marathi we say grahan that is nothing but a eclipse that we say in eclipse surya uh, solar eclipse means what surya grahan lunar eclipse means what chandra grahan now what why the names are given such like that let's see let's learn about the lunar and solar eclipse what exactly happens due to the lunar and solar eclipse let's learn now see you can see this is a lunar eclipse earth comes in between the sun and the moon earth comes between sun and the moon so it is called as a lunar eclipse it is of um, it is called as a lunar eclipse are you getting who comes in between the earth comes in between sun and the moon and in solar eclipse the moon comes in between sun and the earth the moon comes in between sun and the earth lunar eclipse mainly occur during the full moon day and Uh, solar eclipse mainly occur on uh, mainly occur uh, only on new moon day this lunar eclipse takes place during full moon day and solar eclipse takes place during new moon day are you getting this so what happens during the solar eclipse lunar eclipse the earth comes in between sun and the moon while in solar eclipse the moon comes in between sun and the earth are you getting this i hope you have understood it in this way we have completed the earth and solar system in the next video we are going to learn some measurement parts are you getting this i hope you have understood understood it whatever you have understood write down in your physics notebook remove the notes on it thank you